Rick's number five pick is mismatch. But it's important to note that for Rick, all of these top five bulls are really interchangeable. It was that difficult for him to choose an absolute favorite. So he's playing the field, if you will. Oh, and by the way, I'm only narrating this because Rick would prefer that I do it. Here, Mismatch has a stubborn piece of velvet still hanging off his right pedicle. That's his damaged side. It looks like he's hiding here. He's not. He was raking. Here's a better look at that. That really must have bothered him. I wished I could have ripped it off for him. This was another one of those classic mismatch moments. Mismatch crying. It was amazing to watch. And this is an interesting interaction here. Here's Grumpy. He just found mismatch where he didn't belong, in his territory. To our shock, Mismatch started to wag back at Grumpy. We have never seen this before. He has always backed down. Always. And he wisely backs down this time, too. He can't fight anymore. He's damaged that right antler too badly before. You can see how much the right antler has atrophied from the left due to the damage to that pedicle. It's still a healthy looking antler, but not the same. Rick's number four pick, which could easily be his number one or his number two, etc., is 22. Mismatch and 22 were like two old friends. They seemed to have worked out a detente in that end of the valleys. This was an epic moment 
to share with these two bulls. As Mismatch approached a bedded 22 and wanted to spar. We have never seen Mismatch spar with an older bull. We've only seen him mentoring the younger ones. And we have never seen 22 spar with anybody, old or young. Twenty-two, notorious for betting down. Also, notorious for being the bull that showed us all about shedding his velvet. Twenty-two is an old bull. He's a wise bull. He's a warrior. This guy is a fighter. He's a survivor. And he did have his way with the ladies. But not always to his liking. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.